That's awesome. Yeah. It's just another little sort of stepping stone, but it's it's good reward when you get yeah. sort of because to say oh, I'm on the right track, I'm doing good things, yeah. and it's just yeah, it's nice to have that feedback. Yeah. Right, you start here, yeah. underarms, just uh, grooving that shape, trying to hit it back at me, side on with your head and front shoulder coming at me, just on the edge of the green, back foot on the edge of the green. Nice. Look, you look nice and balanced. Shot, chum. Nice. So even though you're open, you turned into that ball nicely and hit in a straight line through cover. It's good. Didn't use your right side there, you snapped a bit early with your bottom hand. Sharp. Brilliant. Mate, I'm loving what your head's doing. You're like, you're really still, you're not getting down and across like you did a while ago. It's good. Good. Don't have to thump every ball. Yeah. I gave a boy, like, you'll get to know him when because he, he's coming to Darwin. Liam Blackford, he plays for Victoria. Yeah. He's from Geelong, and he plays second grade in Melbourne. He's played for Australian under, he's a really good young player, lefty. Yeah. And he was having a hit today. I was on FaceTime, and he was like, just kept trying to hit him harder and harder. I was like, yeah. just, just back off. Like, you're strong, you're powerful. You don't need to try and hit him hard. Just let it come. And all of a sudden, like, at 80%, he started hitting him so much better. So... Yeah. Similar to you, same lefty, you're strong, like you don't have to try and force it. Even in these underarms, if it's not quite there, just stroke it. We're just grooving here, you don't have to hit it hard. Nice shot, mate. Beautiful. Nice, Jakey. Feel good? Yeah. Like batting. Good. Just when it's wider, because you're sort of trying to be still, you're just not quite getting as far across with your whole body as you could. Yep. So nice and still. These are slow. Try and just get your, your upper body and your foot getting a little bit closer to the ball. That's what um, Fox is saying. Yep. That was his advice, because I was trying to play these ones, but yep. really sliking it. And I know I was inside edging a lot from the net. Yep. So it's just going a slight, it's not a big difference. You're just probably going to there and hitting. Yeah. I just reckon you could get a slight bit more, tiny bit further across with your foot, but more into the ball with your head and weight as well. Yeah. Nice, mate. Beautiful position. So you're lining up for the straight ball, you see it wide, you move into that position. Good. Oh, nip. I really like what your head's doing. You're a bit more upright as opposed to getting low and across. Well played. Lovely shot, Jakey. Good. Thoughts? Brilliant analysis. I would have said exactly the same. Well done. Longer with your right side. 
Nice. Shot. Little bit of a slice, your head slightly that way. Right, I'm coming round the wicket now, so you've got to realign a little bit. What do you change? Yep. Shot. I want to show you something quickly. Do you know who Ollie Pope is? Yes. Plays for uh, England, obviously. I reckon this bit of batting is exceptional. Where is it? Here. Hmm. Okay, what's, have a look again. It's hard to see the first time. What's stump? was this when he hit the ball. That's almost outside off. Yeah, it's like fourth start. Yeah. So watch it again. Look at the angle of the ball. It sort of tails in. But why is he hitting the ball there? Nothing to do with technical. Why yeah. tactically is he hitting He's the ball there? Hit strat. Yep, what else? So I'm just going to say, the similar line, similar angle to you, I just threw one, came in, and you hit it to cover. Yeah. Tactically, who's going to score more runs? Someone that hits it down the ground, or someone who hits it to cover? Tactically. Down the ground. Why? Not as many fielders. Yes, down. yes. So I've, technically, we'll talk about it in a minute, but tactically, the goal of batting is to score runs. Yeah. And you score runs by hitting the ball in the gaps, so where the fielders aren't. So instead of hitting a ball from outside off, through there, where there's usually more fielders covering a mid off, he's got one guy to beat, like I mean, it's probably a wide mid on, so he's, he's taking it to where there's a gap and he's yep. going with the angle. Yep. I've got a belief from watching a lot of cricket that the best players, they hit the balls as soon as they get on the stumps or close to the stumps, they take them through the leg side because there's less fielders. And that makes the bowlers go wider and they can leave them or get width. Yep. But if you're hitting fourth stumps sort of mid off and cover, the bowlers can actually then get a bit straight before they get hurt. They bring in the stumps, and they can also beat you on the outside. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So if you can hit balls from off stump, or just even like Holly Pope there, just outside off, sort of through back past the bowler on the leg side, yeah. and then as they get straighter, squarer, you'll score so many runs. Yeah. So what I've done there is I've thrown you a ball, and you've sort of gone a little bit inside out to cover. I want you to yeah. try and, if the ball's coming in from out there, Coming in towards your off stump, I want you to try and line up and hit it back past this side of the stumps. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Oi, that's a lovely shot. That's where that should go. Lovely shot. Yes, Jakey. Heaps better. And that's nothing technical. It's just where you want it to go. Your body will do what you want it to do. Little bit squarer, that could have come a bit straighter. That's a nice shot. I like how you didn't try and over hit it. Good. It's alright. Keep pushing your head down the wicket. I like that. You tried to go straight up. Slice. Technique let you down. Tactics were good. Plan was good. Oh, nearly. Got to just get it this side. I can see you're trying to go there, which I like.
So problem solved, try and find out how you can take that ball a little bit straighter. Yeah, nice Jakey, nice shot. That's where you want it going. Good bud. Lovely shot, mate. Remember when it's straight, you want to take a shorter step than when it's wide. You overcommit with your front foot, you've got to go play around your pad, your weight stays back. Short step when it's straight. Better. More access for your bat. Nice, Jake. Excellent. That's a beautiful shot, mate. Awesome, Jakey. Wasn't a half volley. Well done. Good outcome. Quality, mate. Slice. Why are you slicing? When do you slice it? Yep, and what happens before that? Body weight? What happens with your body weight? You're going that way and then yeah, you go out and around. So when you're more sort of at the ball and over the top of the ball, that's when you hit them where you want them to go. All linked to your body weight, it's all good. Heaps better, look where your head is, right over the top. Awesome, just get that one thing right and most of the rest of your technique will flow. It'll follow from that. Head going at the ball, over the top of your lower half. Yeah, boy. Happy? That's a beautiful strike. I love how you bounced into the ground next to you as well. Brilliant, mate. Nice batting. Good tempo. Didn't try and overhit it. Good batting, bud. Like it. Nice, Jake. Quality. Look where your head is. A short step, and you're right over the top, playing under your eyes as opposed to Outside it, back to over the wicket. That's a beautiful stroke. Now with this sort of angle, I reckon you're best trying to hit it this side because the bowler is following through here. Just outside off, maybe you hit back past the bowler. Pretty good, tiny slice, but pretty good. All good. Just take a sec, just take a sec, deep breath. Give your mind a break for a second. Nice. That's a beautiful shot, Jakey. Yes, how's the power? Heads right over the top, you're not over there. Outside it, brilliant. That's so nice, Jakey.